to provide a better and faster remote connection to Hikvision devices, Hikvision has stopped new registrations on the free IDDNS service and has shifted to a more secure and still free remote access platform called Hike Connect. This video will guide you through the step-by-step -step setup process. In this tutorial, we will set up an NVR with the Hike Connect service from the NVR's local display. First, we will need to set up the NVR. Before we begin, we must make sure that the NVR is powered on, there is a monitor and a mouse connected to the NVR, and the NVR is connected to the router with an Ethernet cord. Please note, if you have a static IP address, then please contact the local network administrator or the IT person and find out their preferred method of setup before you proceed. With the wiring out of the way, right-click anywhere on the screen, then go to the menu. In the menu, go to System Configuration, then Network. If you already have an IP address, subnet mask, and the default gateway provided to you, please enter those in the appropriate field. If you do not have those, simply check the Enable DHCP checkbox on the top of the screen and press Apply. The IP address, subnet mask, and the default gateway will fill in automatically. After these fields are filled, go ahead and uncheck the Enable DHCP checkbox, but do not press Apply just yet. Look at the preferred DNS field. Generally, the preferred DNS gets the same value as the default gateway. If that's the case, then erase the value for preferred DNS and instead enter 8.8.8.8. The alternate DNS is optional and you can leave it a blank. Now go ahead and press apply. Next step is to enable the Hike Connect service and point it to the proper server. Depending on the model and the firmware of your unit, Hike Connect can be found under different tabs. If you do not see a tab called Hike Connect or Platform Access, then Hike Connect is located in the DDNS tab. This generally happens on Turbo DVR units with older firmware. We recommend to update the firmware to the most up-to-date version before proceeding any farther. You can find all the necessary firmware on our technical support portal at tech hikevisionusa.com. Please contact the technical support team if you have any questions regarding the firmware update. Back to Hike Connect. Enable Hike Connect and the disclaimer will appear. Please read the terms and conditions. Next, look at the server address. It should read dev.us.hik-connect.com. If it is any different, Check the custom checkbox and change the server address to dev.us.hik-connect.com. Press apply. The status should display online. It might take a second or two for that to happen. If it does not display online after a couple of seconds, try to reboot the unit. If after rebooting the unit, the status still does not display online, then please contact the technical support team for further troubleshooting. The next step is to create the Hike Connect account and add the unit to that account. On your mobile phone, download the Hike Connect app. If you are using an iPhone, you can download the app from the Apple App Store. If you are using an Android phone, you can download the app from the Android Play Store. An important side note, if you are the installer of the product and not the end user, Please use the end user's phone and the end user's information to create this account. After the account is created, it will take ownership of the Hike Vision unit. After the app is done downloading, go ahead and launch it. Tap on Select the Country or Region, then scroll up and down in the list to select the country. For the purposes of this video, we have selected USA. Then tap on the check mark on the top right corner to confirm your choice. Now, click Login and the app will take you to the Remote Access Platform's login page, where you can either log in with an existing account or register a new one. Since this is going to be a new account, click Register. The app will prompt to register by mobile number or register by email address. This step is required to bind your account to either a mobile number or an email for urgent communication, such as changing terms and conditions or something as vital as resetting the account's password. Please note that Hikevision will not release your information to other parties. This information is used strictly for Hikevision Remote Access Platform. 
Tap on Terms and Conditions to read Height Connects Terms and Conditions. If you agree, check the Red and Agree checkbox. Then make a choice whether you want to register with your mobile phone number or your email address. In this video, we will register with an email address. After making a selection, you will be prompted to select the country once more. A pop-up will prompt you that the country cannot be changed after this step. Press OK. Please note, this is a permanent setting and cannot be changed in the future. Make sure to select the correct country, then press Finish on the top right corner. Enter your email address, then press Next. You will receive an email with a verification code. Sometimes these emails can go to your spam, so please make sure to check the spam folder if you do not receive the email in your regular inbox within 2 to 5 minutes. Please enter the verification code in the verification code field, then press Next. Create a username that contains only letters and numbers. Please note that this username has nothing to do with your DVRs or NVRs username, and it cannot be admin. This is strictly for your Hike Connect account. After this, type in a password in the password field, then retype it in the confirm password field, then press finish. Your account has been created. We're almost done. Press the Add Device button in the middle of the screen, and the app will open your phone's camera. In some cases, a pop-up will ask for a permission to open the camera. Accept it. A red region will appear in the middle of the screen. On the DVR and VR, go to the Menu, System Configuration, then go to Network, and go back to the Platform Access tab or the DDNS tab, depending on your unit, and aim the red region in that appeared on your phone screen directly at the QR code that's displayed on your DPR or NVR screen. The unit serial number will appear on your phone screen. Tap on it. The device will be added to your account. A window will pop up with port and username password fields. This is required for a bit more advanced features of the remote access platform, which we will cover in another video. For now, you can press skip. The device's model number and serial number will appear on the screen under My Device. You can now select the device and press Start Light.